everybody. I hope I'm finding you all safe and well. My name is Tori and I'm going to be taking you through an LBT class today. So legs, bums and tums. It's going to be about 20 <clears throat> to 25 minutes long. We're going to start off with our warm up. Then we're going to take it into three different rounds. We're going to do one round of each and it's going to be a mixture of exercises for glutes, core and legs. Okay. So for our warm up today, we're going to do a few pulse raisers, a few exercises that are going to warm up the muscles that we're going to use in each round. Alright, so first one we're going to take it into, we're only going to do one round and it's going to be around 20 seconds of each. Um, just try and do as many of them as you can within the 20 seconds. Alright, first one's going to be a pulse raiser, so it's going to be some high knees. Alright, all I want you to do Bring your knees up like so, so you can start with a nice wee job in pace. I want to see your knees up nice and high above hip height, like so. So just on the spot. After this, we're going to take it into some burpees. So we're going to do star jump down into plank. All right, last few seconds. Okay, into our burpees. So star jump first of all, down into your plank position, straight back up into your star jump. Make sure in your plank position, you're keeping your tummy nice and tight. Make sure that you're bringing your hips lower than shoulder height as well. That's gonna work that core a little bit more. All right, last two, and last one. All right, we're gonna get those legs warmed up. We're just gonna take it into some body weight squats, okay? So put your feet in a nice comfortable position for you. All you're gonna do, bring those hips back and down, like so. Okay, so in this, I'm gonna do the movements front ways and sideways. Okay, so taking it to the side. Try and get those thighs parallel to the ground for me. Keep that body upright, keep that core engaged, and make sure you're facing forward. All right, last few reps. And then we're gonna take it into a lunge with rotation. Give me two more. And last one. Okay. Into our lunge. And um, we're going to alternate legs. All right, this is going to warm up legs and core. So, front leg, feel nice and flat. Nice wide gap between your feet. Up on your toes on your back leg for me. All I want you to do, bring it down. Close to the ground as you can. And then rotate towards your front leg. Again, make sure you keep that tummy nice and tight. Whenever you rotate, you want to feel it at your waist. Okay, so obviously we're going to be working core throughout the different rounds. So we want to get that core nice and warmed up. Treat this as two separate movements. Focus on your lunges first of all, then focus on your rotation. One more on each side. <coughs> And last one. Okay, hopefully that's you all nice and warmed up. We're going to go into our first round. So, our first round is going to be a reverse lunge with a high kick. Then we're going to take it into a bridge. All right. And then some seated scissor kicks and some jump squats. Just to keep it nice and simple, we're going to do 10 reps of everything, okay? So, <coughs> first one, our reverse lunge with our high knee. It's going to work legs and core, okay? I want you to stick to one leg, first of all. Use your dominant leg, so use your stronger side. Okay, so for me, that's going to be my right side. Alright, so just like the lunges we've just done, front foot 
nice and flat for me. Up on the toes on your back leg. What I want you to do is take a step back, bring it down low towards the ground. On the way up, I want you to kick that knee up. All right, as high as you can. So we're gonna do 10 reps on each leg. Whenever you bring your knee up nice and high, I want you to squeeze that core. All right, you wanna feel it in those abs whenever you bring that knee up. Okay, get ready to swap legs. On to the other side. Nice big step back. Bring it as close to the ground as you can. Up, kick that knee up nice and high. <coughs> so with your legs, you want to feel it on the leg that is out in front. And you're mainly going to feel it all in that thigh. Last two. Last one. All right, we're going to take it into our glute bridge. So there's variations of your bridge. You can do it on the ground, or you can use a bench, or if you're at home, you can use the edge of your sofa, a chair, whatever you feel comfortable using. Okay? So if you bring it over onto the edge, of your sofa, your chair, whatever you want to use. Make sure that you're uh, bringing your middle back onto the edge of the sofa. Bring your feet out for me. All right. Make sure you push your knees out. You want to have your knees out over your ankles. All I want you to do, drop your hips, push back up like so. So drop your hips as low as you can, keeping those knees out, push those hips up as high as you can. All right, where you want to feel it are your glutes and hamstrings, so the back of your thigh. If you can feel it more in your hamstrings, means your feet are too far out, bring your feet in for me. Okay, last one. <clears throat> All right, we're going to take it into some core. So we're going down onto the floor. All right, what do you do? Bring your hands back, rest them on the floor, like so. I want you to bring and extend both legs out at the same time. And all I want you to do, go into those scissor kicks. So we're going to do 10, so bringing each leg up is one rep. Where are you going to feel this is lower tummy and last one. All right, back into legs, so this is your body weight cardio. We're going to do some jump squats, so just like the squats we did at the start. I want you to find a nice comfy stance, all right, wherever you naturally put your feet in your squat. I'm going to do these sideways, okay? So, jump squats, we're going to go down into our squat position, and then a nice high jump up into the air. We're going for 10 reps, all right, let's go, bring those hips low, jump it up. So land on those toes, push through that heel. So just jump it up as high as you're comfortable with. Last two, last one. Excellent. Okay, for our second round, what we're gonna do is a ski squat into a normal squat. Then we're gonna take it into some kneeling hip thrusts for our glutes, some oblique twists for our waist um, core, and then our body weight cardio is gonna be our mountain climbers. Okay. So your ski squat, two different types of squats in one. In a ski squat, all you're going to do is bring your feet together, like so, and take it into your normal squat position. We're going to bring it up and then bring it into 
our normal squat. All right, we're gonna do 10 reps. Okay, off we go. So feet together, bring those hips back and down, up, feet out into your normal squat stance, back down into your squat, feet in, feet out. And again, try and get that depth. So bring those hips down as close, as low as you can. Ideally, you want thighs parallel. All right, I'll turn sideways for you. So feet together, bring it nice and low. Where you mainly want to feel this? All in those thighs. All right, last two. And last one of each. Okay, into our kneeling hip thrusts. So what we're going to do on the ground, I want you to have knees wider than hip width. I want you to have your feet uh, pointed in together, so toes touching. All right, so I'll let you see it sideways and then front ways. Okay. So make sure those knees are out for me. And it's all gonna be, all movement's gonna take place at these hips. What I want you to do, try and relax your feet out. I want you to bring your hips down as close to the ground as you can without resting. So try not to just sit down at the bottom. Okay, you'll lose the tension in your thighs if you do that. Okay, so into your position. All right, 10 reps, off we go. Bring those hips down, don't rest. And then try and thrust those hips at the top of the movement. Where you wanna feel this? In those thighs on the way down. And then at your glutes on the way up. All right, last five. Last four. Three. Two. And last one. All right, we're gonna go into our core now. Okay, so for this one, you can do body weight. Ideally, if you can grab a weight, um, anything at all that's lying around the house. Um, so what I'm gonna use is a kettlebell. All right, so you're in your seated position. You're gonna cross over the ankles. Make sure that the knees are bent. I want you to lean back. Make sure you keep that back lovely and flat. Keep your shoulders back. Grab whatever weight you have, or again, you can do a body weight. Okay, keep the kettlebell close to your chest, or if you're doing it with no weight, you can have your arms out like so. What we're gonna do is rotate side to side like so. Make sure that um, you're just bringing it around as far as it's comfortable for you. You don't want to feel any stress or tension in your lower back. So keeping, okay, grab your weight, held on hand or body weight. All right, so 10 on each side. All right, off we go. So just rotate again, as far as is comfortable for you. You want to feel this in your waist. Make sure that you squeeze that tummy nice and tight. You want to use all that core. All right, last five. Last four. Three. Two. And one. All right, into our body weight cardio. We're going to get into our plank position. So on your hands, up on those toes, and you want to keep your hips lower than shoulder height. What we're going to do is we're gonna bring opposite knee to chest, okay? You wanna bring it as high as you can. Um, and again, squeezing that tummy. That's where you're gonna feel it here, okay? So each leg coming up is one rep. All right, let's go into that plank position. All right, opposite knee to chest. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, well done. That's our second round done. Okay, we are into round three. What we're going to do are some single leg squats. Then we're going to take it into some jump, <coughs> jump lunges. 
then into a reverse plank with a knee lift and then some straight leg kickbacks for our glutes. All right, for your single leg squats, you can grab a chair, edge your sofa, whatever you just want to use, and you just can guess what we're going to do. Okay, one leg. So stand relatively close to your sofa, chair. All I want you to do, sit down, stand back up. All right, 10 reps on each leg, off we go. Make sure you keep the other leg that you're not using. Try and keep it off the ground. Try and put um, all the effort onto this leg that you're using. Where you want to feel it is mainly that thigh again. If you're struggling with balance, which a few people do with this one, you can use your other leg. You can put your toes down on the floor to give you a little bit more stability. Completely up to you. If you've never done this before, then I would recommend doing that. All right, let's swap it over. One leg straight if you can. So you're putting that body weight on one leg. Make sure you sit all the way down. Try not to swing that upper body. Make sure that's the leg that's doing all the work. All right, last four. Last three. Two. And last one. All right, well done. We're gonna take it into our body weight cardio, our jump lunges. Okay, so there's a few variations of this if you've never done them before. What I want you to do is get into your lunge position that we've done throughout this class. Remember, up on the toes on the back leg, front foot lovely and flat. So the harder way to do it, which I'm going to show you now, take it down into your lunge. I want you to jump it up into the air, swap the legs and land in your lunge position. These are quite hard, especially balance wise. If you've never done them before, what I want you to do, get back into your lunge position, bring it down. I want you to do a wee jump into the middle and then jump it out or walk it out into your lunge position again. Okay, so you can scale it down like that. All right, we're going for 10 reps. Again, um, each side, is one rep. All right, let's go. Lunge position, bring it down, jump it up. That's one, two, three. Again, try and bring it down as low to the ground as you can. Nice explosive jump in the air. Swap those legs when you're in the air. All right, three, two, and one, excellent. All right, now we're gonna take it into our core. So we're back on the floor again. Okay, so your reverse plank. If you can, it's a bit easier to do this elevated. So using your sofa or using your a step or something but you can't do it on the ground i'm going to show you the variation on the ground all right so then your reverse plank you're going to have your hands on the ground have your feet out quite far away from you up on your heels i want you to push your hips up and we're going to bring alternate knee to chest like so. Okay, so where are you going to feel that? Is in that tummy. If you've never done a reverse plank before, what you can do is take it into your normal plank hold. So hands under shoulders, up on your toes, hip slip, and hold. It's completely up to you what variation you want to do. I'm going to do the reverse plank with the high knee lift, okay? Again, each leg coming up is one rep. All right, 
Off we go, up on those heels, hips up, and then it's alternate knee to chest. Try and keep those hips up nice and high. Engage that core. All right, halfway. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And the last one on each leg. All right, excellent. Last one for our glutes. We're going to do some straight leg kickbacks. So, <clears throat> I want you to have hands under your shoulders. All right. Leaning on one knee, keep one knee bent. Other leg nice and straight for me. What I want you to do is just kick that leg up. Try not to rest at the bottom. You want to try and bring your foot up so that it's higher and hip height. And you're going to feel this in your glutes. Try and keep that leg extended, keep it nice and straight. And again, you don't want any rounding in the lower back. If your lower back starts to round, then you're bringing that leg up too high. All right, swap it over. Bend one leg on one side, straighten the leg on the other side and kick it up for me. Try and do a little hold at the top of the movement. Okay, you want to hold the stress on that muscle for as long as you can. Try not to rest at the bottom. All right, last one. All right, that is our third round done. Well done, everybody. Okay, everyone, that is us. Thank you for taking part today. If you want to keep this class um, and make it into an hour long uh, LVT class, what you can do is three rounds of um, each round that we've just done. Okay, so in a normal LVT class, I would do three rounds of exactly what we've just done. Each round, you can increase the reps. So obviously we did 10 reps of everything. In the second round, you could do 12. In the third round, you could do 15. All right, so you can make it that little bit harder for yourselves. What I'm gonna take you through now are just some cool down stretches. All right, so I normally do all my stretches lying down just to bring that heart rate down again. So the first one, lying down on your side. If you have, and so I have one leg on top of the other. Grab your top leg, grab the foot. I want you to push your hip forward for me on the top leg. Where you're gonna feel this is just on your thigh. Okay, and swapping it over. So onto the other side, exactly the same thing. So grabbing the foot on the top leg, push the hip forward and you'll feel that nice stretch going down your thigh. I'm bringing it up into your hamstring stretch. So, in a seated position, keep your knees slightly bent for me. Reach down towards your ankles or your toes, wherever you need to, to feel a nice stretch at the back of your thigh. So you normally hold your cool down stretches for about 10 to 12 seconds. All right into your glute stretch. So, one leg straight, bring the other leg, bring your foot to your knee, using your opposite elbow, place it on the outside of your knee and push. So push that knee away from you and you're gonna get a nice stretch going through that glute muscle. And again, we're holding it for about 10 to 12 seconds. All right, and swapping it over. So foot at your knee, elbow on the outside of your knee, and push away. All 
Okay, that is that, everybody. Thank you for taking part. I hope you've enjoyed. Remember, stay home, stay safe, and stay well.